Welcome to another edition to the Assassin's Sports Show, guys. Thank you for the love, appreciation you bring each and every day. You have to fix them on the place. I cannot do the show. Watch, I got thank you for likes, thank you for the shares, thank you for your comments, and guys, thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos each and every day. You're amazing fans. I cannot do the show. Watch, I guys. Plus, guys, we pass by the YouTube channel, like the content, like the show, hit that subscribe button, become an assassin today. Guarantee you, baby. Guarantee you become an assassin if you hit that subscribe button. To my original assassins, guys, thank you so much for keep on supporting the show each and every day. You're just amazing. 11 months into this, and you just keep on blowing me away. So thank you so much. To my new assassins, welcome to the show. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for your support. And those who have not subscribed yet, hopefully I can subscribe to my channel. Hopefully it's what y'all been looking for. And this channel is nothing soft limits. It's all about y'all. Y'all might agree with me and disagree with me, but that's a beautiful thing because this show allows you to do it. But to any other show, they won't. So, and, and this show, I guarantee you, one thing I do pride is going back and read the comments that y'all left and write in the comments to y'all and reply to y'all. So, all that, guys, this show will do all that. Go to any other show, they won't reply to y'all. They don't even care. Now this show takes pride of that that we write back to y'all. So, hope you enjoy it. One thing guys, if you live the Broward area, Cold Springs, Davy, Plantation, you, you heard me say this, Chance Zone Fitness, if you want that good workout, you want that six pack, you wanna look good, you wanna feel good, everybody wants to look good, and everybody wants to feel good, right? Um, go check them out guys, promotion code. Assassin's Sports Show. I'm telling you, this is the best gym I've been to. They work you out fully, and you will learn from your workouts. I guarantee you that. So, you, you're there to work. But I'm telling you, after the work, you'll be sore, but you will enjoy that soreness. I guarantee you. And then come back and tell me what y'all think. So, go check them out. All right, guys. Enough of that, right? Well, they, everybody tell me, Assassin, the Dolphins, man, they're pinching their panties, man. They're not signing anybody. They're not getting two or any weapons. How can two or succeed? You know what? Well, they just signed a guy that I wanted all along. Me and my buddy will always talk. He had his list. I had mine. I wanted Fuller. I wanted Fuller. To be honest, I wanted that guy. I wanted that because I could see what. Yes, is he injury prone? Yes, he's going to be suspended for one game. Yes, all that. Okay. But I wanted that guy. Why? That's This is the guy who is a speedy wide receiver, who show flashes of superstardom. He has. You can't, one-on-one, -on -one, you can't contain him. That's a guy I like a lot coming out. And you only sign him one year, 10 mil. That's nothing. That's cheap. That's dirt cheap. And if he succeeds, maybe you re-sign him, right? If he's putting up numbers, not getting injured, not getting in trouble, you re-sign him. But I love this deal. Now, to, to me, real quick, I would love Chase on this team. You got Chase. Think about it, Chase. You got Chase. Devontae Parker. Let's say you bring back Albert Wilson. By the way, he has not opted in to play. So stay tuned for that. Right? So now you got that. Then you got the foster kid that you signed. Speed, 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 speed. So I like what Miami's doing. You fix up, um, you got a linebacker, right? You fix up of a trade. You got, the, listen, a sleeper, the corner that you signed. He's a sleeper, guys. Don't think, yeah, my, Miami might be pinching their pennies, but that was a sleeper move. And then Butler, the D tackle, yeah. And, and I know it. Oh, but we need pass washer. Don't worry about the pass washer. And, and y'all yeah, know, they, they're close to signing a other running back, um, the Seattle Carson. Guys, they are doing what we want them to do. It's flashy now. It's not flashy. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this again. That don't mean Miami will not draft the running back. They will. Maybe not high. Maybe a second rounder they, they draft. Maybe, you know, they will. But again, if you look at the pattern of New England and them, they don't, they're not very really high on running backs. You shouldn't be. Yes, we want that elite running back, sure. But 
time and time again, proven again, if you, your scouting department knows what they're doing, that I think the Dolphin regime knows what they're doing, you could find running backs. And Carson is a great running back, by the way. So you get him. They're not, I agree. I think if they sign him, I think what's going to happen is top of the list. Maybe they go pits to trade down, pits, receiver. Or they might go pass rusher and then embankment, whatever. But I don't think, I think they go, I don't I don't like the pass rushers in this draft high anyway. So I think you could get a good one at 18 and pass them on. And then you get a running back later on if you want to. And again, you don't have to have a running back. You're not going to get, again, guys, you're not going to get everything that you need. In this draft, you just not. But what I like this free agency, Miami's building depth. Miami's not wasting their money. And again, I want to repeat this: Miami doesn't have a lot of cash space either. So let's think about this: they don't have a lot of cash space. If you look and you break it down, they really don't have a lot to play with because they got to restructure some deals, whatever. But they don't have a lot. But what I like what they're doing is they're not reaching for guys. And they signed a center. Let's not forget. He's a hell of a good center. I know people, but he was injured. So it might be the shoulder that it was, you know, he was lifting it. But he's a good blocker. He's a hell of a good um pass blocker, run blocker. So you got that. Yeah. But it's ten with him it's technique. More than anything, it's technique, and you could fix that. You know, he has the skills. I, I forget his name. He came from the Ravens, help if you know. But yeah, great signing, okay? If you see, you got Bassett. They are doing things that the first time you could, you see how they're building this thing. And I know a lot of people, oh, that means they're not trading for Deshaun Watson. And I will not, by the way, I'm not touching Deshaun Watson right now. I'm not, because of, of the allegations, no, I'm not touching that. And that could, like a lot of people, oh, that's, no. With, you guys understand, if he went to that place, probably more likely he has done it. Not saying that he did it, but more likely, if you're a star, you go in there, what you think is going to happen? Come on, man. We adults, we know. I'm not knocking him. He got caught. That's it. He got caught. And now, now you didn't pay what you had to pay. You got caught. Not knocking him. Not saying nothing. But I'm not touching that because I don't know what the league's going to do with that. If the allegations are true. That's the other thing. You know what I'm saying? I like to. I've been a tour guy. And I'm telling you, just build the team around tour and see what happens. You get Chase, you get Fuller, you get, you get these guys back. Watch out, Miami's gonna be explosive. Ain't nobody's gonna catch. Oh, maybe you don't get. Sorry, maybe you don't get Chase. Maybe you get Cal Pitts. Again, you get an explosive re uh, slash receiver tight end. There you go. You could line up Gasicki in the back. You could whatever. You could do whatever you want. I think the pick will be Cal Pitts or Chase. That's my opinion. You some everybody was hating on, on the draft that I did. Then I say pit, they're going to pick pits. There it is. There it is. So that's why I'm not done the draft because I want to see how they're building. Then I could focus on what they, what they needs are. I think the, the first pick is going to be a receiver slash tight end. One of those areas and then watch out. So I love what the Dolphins are doing. Um, just one of those things. I know fans are getting frustrated. What they're doing tonight, they got two or some weapons. Got weapon. And I like what they not, maybe, and I told you, this free agency, I didn't see a star on wide receiver. I didn't see the number one wide receiver. You had Jags, you had second to third, um, how do you call it? Second receiver, third receivers, you know, you don't have that true number one receiver. You have Jags. You don't have like a Julio Jones. You don't have a, a Stefan Diggs. You don't, you know. Just Jags. Now you get a top number one receiver on the draft or whatever, then you build something. Or a top tight end. Now you build something. So that's what I'm saying. Not not listen. 
Now you can't double team Gaseki. Or you get Kyle Pitts. You can't double team both of them. You're going to leave somebody open. And that's the mismatch I want to see you by the Dolphins. Um, I want I want the running backs. You know, Harris I like. ATM I like. I, I like the Clemson kid a lot. I think that's a mismatch. You put him in there. I li Listen, I love Harris. But I think ATM is, is, is a better receiver. It's just a mismatch everywhere in the field. But either way, whoever they pick, I will enjoy. So... I think the Dolphins are doing the right thing, building this thing slowly, and and and, and smart. They're doing smart things. They're not. Re what I like, they're not reaching for guys. And like I told you in the last video, I like what they're doing a lot. I like how how they're going about it. They're not reaching. They're being patient. Is, is it frustrating for the fans? Hell yeah, it's frustrating because we have never been do this for years. I, listen. I've been a Duff fan for almost 30 years. 30 years. I could say 38 years, but I'm not going to put when I was really, really small. Because I didn't really understand. I, I like the Dolphins. Obviously, I could say I, I was a fan for 38 years. When I really started noticing the game, when I was eight, 8 years old. That's when I started noticing. So that's really what I like. It is... I have to understand. The Dolphin was not they didn't throw money like the Patriots is doing. And when you throw money, you you didn't hit on draft picks, you didn't hit a lot of stuff. And I'm telling you, I like what they're doing and, and, and it's just patient approach, it's perfect approach for the Dolphins. And then next year, the agents can use the Dolphins like they've been using for years. Oh, the Dolphins, no, nah, but not, not, you don't hear anything. They're gonna use the Patriots, they're gonna use a lot of other people. And then I wanna say, Buffalo, Buffalo has to pay Josh Allen, and they're gonna be in cap hell when they do. And, 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 that, and that's serious. So guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If I miss anything, comment below. I get back to you sooner, pal. I'll, I'll swear I'll get back to you. Um, I do work for a living. This is just like my fun time, my therapy for y'all to talk to y'all and to have fun with it. So, but I will get back to y'all. I promise you that. That's what I like for all my friends. I just want to get back to y'all and see what y'all think. So guys, thank you for watching. God bless. See you later, guys.